Hey, Ford truck fans, if your F-150 or Super Duty's HVAC is acting up, like you're not getting heat or AC or the air just won't switch between hot and cold, don't panic. This is a super common issue on 2015 to 2020 F-150S and 2017 to 2022 F-Series Super Duty trucks. Here's what's really going on. Ford just dropped TSB 23, 2115. That's a technical service bulletin, not a recall. And it's all about a stuck or failing blend door or actuator inside your HVAC system. You might even see the code B108107 pop up on a scan tool. That code, B108107, specifically means the HVAC system has detected a problem with the blend door actuator circuit, usually that the actuator is stuck, not responding, or the system is getting an out-of-range signal. It's triggered when the control module tries to move the blend door to adjust the temperature, but the actuator doesn't move as expected, or the feedback from the actuator is missing or incorrect. Basically, it's your truck's way of telling you the blend door isn't working right, which is why you're not getting the temperature you want. But how do you know if your blend door actuator is failing or stuck? Let's break down the most common symptoms so you know exactly what to look for, even if you're not a car expert. First, you might notice the air coming out of your vents won't switch between hot and cold, no matter how much you turn the temperature knob. Sometimes you'll only get hot air, even when you want AC. Other times it's stuck on cold and you can't get any heat, which is especially rough in winter. Another sign is inconsistent cabin temperature. Maybe the air starts out cold, then suddenly turns hot, or it just never matches what you set. You might find yourself constantly fiddling with the controls, but the temperature just won't stay where you want it. Listen for strange clicking or tapping noises coming from behind the dashboard, especially right after you start the truck or change the temperature setting. That clicking is often the sound of a failing blend door actuator trying and failing to move the blend door. Sometimes the airflow direction won't change when you switch between defrost floor or vent modes. If your windshield stays foggy or your feet never get warm, the blend door might be stuck in one position. And finally, if your truck's climate just feels off or unpredictable and nothing you do seems to fix it, that's another big clue. The good news? You don't have to live with sweaty summer rides or freezing winter commutes. Here's what the fix looks like. Dealers will pull the code, dig into the driver's side, and either clean or replace the blend door actuator, cam, and add some special HVAC grease. Some folks on F-150 and Power Stroke forums even DIY it with actuator kits and step-by-step -step guides, saving a ton on labor. If you're handy, you can absolutely tackle this job yourself. Just grab a kit with an actuator, cam, and some flock tape. Follow the guides online, and you'll be back to perfect temps in no time. If not, tell your dealer to check out NHTSA 102-34593 or TSB 23-2115. Labor takes a while, but the fix works. So, if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you've dealt with this HVAC issue or have any questions. I'm always here to help you keep your Ford running smooth. Thanks for watching.